Assalamu alaikum viewers, welcome to my channel Genome Wide Study. If you are new on my channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon. So you will get the notification of all the new videos. In this video, we will talk about long non-coding RNAs or simply say LNC RNA. And this is the part one of this video. In this video, we will discuss that how to find long non-coding RNA, the, its database, what is uh, its database and how to search different plant species in that database which contains that how many each plant species have the long non-coding RNA and how to download that data and which through which we will do we do or uh, use that can data database for this purpose so how to do let's start open the search engine any search engine like Bing or Google ETC. So write can data database. Write C N T A T A D B database. The link of uh, this database are, is also available in the description. So open the first link. So it led to us uh, in the main page. So it is uh, its main page. So first we look about it that what this database is and what it contains. So here is what is can data database. It is a database of long non-coding RNAs that was identified computationally in 36 plant species and 3 algae. And here are the details of all that organisms a plant species that have uh, the long non-coding RNA and present in this database and they, these are the name of that organisms these are the 36 plus 3 is 39 and here are the number of that long non-coding RNA present in each organism like here is the Erebrophis thaliana it contains about 4,373 long non-coding RNAs where the most were found in C. quinoa that was the 17,526. It contains almost all the main crops like Rosa Stiva, that Brassica, Glacin Max, Zemes and all the other main crops. Uh, and uh, it is also that how they have get this database are discovered they map the read from hundreds of rna seq data that was present in different databases like ncbi or it's symboled like this from there they collect that data and then analyze it and find the non, non uh, long non coding rnas and then they have made their own database about long non-coding RNAs in that species and in that database they have collected about 239,631 long non-coding RNAs in 39 species. These databases presents among others long non-coding RNA sequences expression values across long RNA seq data and other blah blah so why why they need to create such database about long non-coding RNA because there is no other database present for long non-coding RNAs and their annotations which possess uh, difficulties in their further studies so this Cantata database is one of the biggest and most comprehensive database about plants no, long non-coding RNAs. So this is all about if you want to download this graph or this data so you can simply here click on it and then download in any form there like JPG or PDF or any other and save it. Now if you want to search the specific long non-coding RNA in your organism. So go to the search and here you can select your species, any species that you want to, uh, you, in which you are working. For example, I am uh, working on a glycine max. 
So here is the information. If you know the ID of that long non-coding RNA, then it is better. So you can give it here. If you didn't know, then you can simply scroll down and here are the information of all the long non-coding RNAs present in the glycine max. This is the this data can data database ID of this long non-coding RNA, this is the organism and this is the location that is this long non-coding RNA is located on chromosome 4 and this was is a start and end and this is the strand that is on plus strand in forward strand and these are the peptide lines of that long long non-coding RNA and this is the confident level that whether it is confident fully confident or not and here are the list of all the long non-coding RNAs present in glycine max so there are about 51 51 pages which contain the list of that long non-coding RNAs in glycine max and uh, you can also find another and if you want to check the information of this long non-coding RNA that what is this so you can click on detail so here are the information of this long non-coding RNA so this is the expression level of this uh, long non-coding RNA and these are the different sources the SRR data that was submitted in the NCBI or any other database and from there they have uh, collected this uh, the information of this uh, long non-coding RNA and these are the expression level uh, of this long non-coding RNA in these different databases so here you can click on it and then also you can download it and if you want to check the information of this uh, uh, database that either it is present or not or in which uh, it is used so you can simply go to the NCBI and here you can select the SRR SRA and here write that uh, accession that if you want to check this one that uh, is uh, SRR 3680387 36 80 3 8 7 SRR 36 80 3 8 7 so click on search so here is the information of that uh, uh, the information of that study from where this long non-coding RNA was extracted so here is the study that large scale analysis of soybean embryonic excess in five time point during germination and they said that uh, our sequencing was done through aluminium high seek throughput and uh, these are the other information you can found it these are the protocol cdna period if you can get the other information so you can go inside and then found all this is experiment uh, information this is the uh, other information so this this the information about this long non-coding RNA was get from this study so you can also download it sorry you can also download this expression data from uh, clicking here and download in jpg or any other if you come below so this is the sequence of this uh, long non-coding RNA so you can save it and then you can use it in your study so this is all about long non-coding RNA this is a part one so we will uh, in part two we will discuss that if you want to find the specific long non-coding RNA that target your specific gene that if you are studying uh, for any gene working on any gene or any gene family and you want to check that which long non-coding RNA target your gene or gene family so we will found it in the part 2 so this is uh, the part 1 so if you have any question query please like share and comment thank you